Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston, and today we're going to do a quick overview on the new GEB334 batteries, and uh, we'll go over how to load a patch. The new battery will run the GS18 and the CS20, and uh, the issue that we can find is uh, the new 334, there'll be a sticker over the contacts. Um, you either have to have the latest firmware, uh, if you have older firmware, then we have to load that patch because there's a new chip in this battery. So the problem is if you put this battery in a unit that has older firmware, it'll power up and flicker and turn back off. So that's that's the problem. So with the new chip, they had to rewrite the firmware to, to accommodate uh, for the new chip in this new battery. Okay, so once again, if you have a picture here, the 334, you see this little label here, the batteries look almost exactly the same, but they're different components on the inside. And once again, they can power the 18 or the CS20. So option number one, a lot of people say, well, why do I need to keep my firmware current? This is one of the reasons. There's new features. And one of the hardware features is it, uh, the new 334, the latest firmware, you have no problem. So if you have version 6.65 or higher, then the 334 will power the 18 or the CS20 if the 18 or the CS20 has 6.65 or higher. Right now, the current firmware version is 7.03. So option number one is get the latest firmware loaded up, then you're good to go. Option number two is we can uh, load the patch, and we have to do this both on the 18 and the CS20 if you're running both of the new batteries. Uh, the key is we've got to make sure we have an older battery to plug in to load the patch. So uh, just make sure you have an older 331 to, to do this process. So let's take a quick look at the video. Okay, we have a CS20, it's got older firmware, uh, version 4.5. And if you wanna put the new GEB334 battery, we gotta load the patch. So if I go to function windows, I'll just come up here to my device, and then we'll come here to SD card. And then under system, I just want one firmware file. And this one has the CS20 firmware update that we'll put on uh, Google Drive that you can access. So just put that file in there. There's a separate file for the 18. And that has to be on the SD card under the system subdirectory right there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll come back into Captivate. Uh, once again, we have an older battery, the 331, because if you had a newer battery with the older firmware without the patch, it'll just turn off and on in a split second. So we'll hit Settings, Tools, Update Software, and it says CS20 Battery Update Firmware. Check that box, then we'll hit OK and hit Yes. And this should just take a couple minutes to load. It'll cycle back on. And then it can run the new battery, the 334, or the older 331. Okay, so that uh, that's how the procedure to update the CS20. Um, what we can do now, if I go down, take a look at my SD card on the G drive under System, I put the GS18 firmware, and I put this SD card in the GS18 head. And then what we'll do is go through how to load uh, the firmware on the GS18. Okay, we now have the GS18 that has the uh, version 4.5 firmware. It's got an older 331 powering it up, and it's Bluetooth. And what we'll do is we'll hit function Windows. And get onto the Windows screen. Now I've got a web server Bluetooth. Now let's give this a second. It'll boot up. Now the SD card is in the GS18 and the GS18 firmware is under the system subdirectory. We can't see it from this screen. And right now it's running the older firmware. And what we'll do is we'll click on the user. Oops. And there's a load firmware. And what we'll do is we'll scroll down and we'll check these two boxes. Then we'll hit the little green button, load new firmware. And there won't be a progress bar, but this should just take a couple minutes. It'll load the firmware and then the sensor will reboot. And then we should be able to then, then put the new battery in. So that's how simple it is to load the, uh, the firmware patch for the GS18.